Geo Archon, this is the only chance you'll get all year. Guess it's a good thing Venti brought it up earlier. Otherwise, we definitely would have missed this year's Rite of Dissension. Well, Venti brought up the time, but Baimon knows nothing about where it is. <laughs> Look, we're already in Liyue, so let's go ask some of the locals. Oh, right. About the Geo Archon Morax. Did you know the Mora that we use is named after this guy? But it's seen as impolite for people from outside Liyue to refer to the Geo Archon by that name. So we should refer to the Geo Archon by the name Rex Lapis, like the people of Liyue do. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Isn't that today? Once a year, Rex Lapis bestows upon us his divine prediction, guiding us on how to run Liu for the coming year. Last year, it was the Yuhang of the Liu at Qixing that was given the honor of asking for the divine prediction. Ooh, Paimon knows this one. Mon's status to freedom as Liu is to contracts. Liu has a strong focus on business and trade. The Liu at Qixing... The seven leaders of the seven enterprises of Liyue hold true control over Liyue. That's what foreigners always say. But true control over Liyue will always be held by Rex Lapis. The Qixing is comprised of mere mortals. Rex Lapis is a god. Mondstadt's god is nowhere to be seen, whilst our god is forever with us. Stay in Liyue long enough and you'll see. Given that you just left your godless city, it's time you experienced what it's like to be in a city whose god has walked with it through all of history. <sighs> oh, are you also foreigners here for the Rite of Dissension? <sighs> to think I've lived in Liyu all these years and never come to see this before. <laughs> I guess it's like they say. Locals never visit the tourist spots. Ah, I wish you well on your travels. Liyue always welcomes you. You too wish to bear witness to the rites of dissension? <laughs> Me too. We all do. As a businessman myself, how could I not take interest in Liyue's most important business trends? The 17 predictions given last year made more than a few ripples throughout the industry. What's more, there's been a rumor going around that the Tianxue herself, Ning Guang, has been acting secretly in the shadows. She wants the rocks created by Geovision holders to be exempt from taxation. Wow, that's some super professional legal stuff, that is. <laughs> to be on the pulse of the predictions and the market is what makes this harbor what it is. Among the seven, Rex Lapis is the oldest deity. His keen sense of strategy is well trusted among his people. Understanding the predictions as soon as possible can make all the difference in making your fortune. Fortune? So where can we see this Rite of Dissension anyway? <sighs> You're not at all close. Not to mention that if I gave you directions, as foreigners you'd get lost along the way. So better to head to Yujing Terrace, to the high ground. It's the highest place in the harbor. Sounds like the best place for trying to communicate with deities, no?
today during the rite of dissension. Wanna give it a try? Your first time in Liga? Actually, it's my first time to see the Rite of Dissension, too. Ah, look, that's Miss Ningguang of the Liu Shixing. Only those who have control in Liu can preside over the Rite of Dissension. Oh, yeah, not sure if you knew, but most of the Adepti appear in the form of various beasts. I heard that when attending these kinds of formal occasions, Rex Lapis himself appears as a celestial cross between two of Liu's ancient mythical creatures. Ah, sorry, I shouldn't interrupt your wish. Please, take this. You also want a little Adepti luck, too? <laughs> Seems you know a lot. Making a wish during this time is sure to get you the blessings of both the Adepti and Rex Lapis himself. I've already made my wish, so you can take this. Great! Thanks! Guess we can just wait here for things to get started. Hmm. Who knows how long that Miss Ning Wong lady is gonna take? Seal the exits! Close. 
There's nowhere to run. Hey, girly, hold still. Stop! Stop! Come with me. Child. Child? What, so we're supposed to dote on you? <laughs> no, no, not at all. It's an alias of sorts. In Mondstadt, I don't suppose you came across a Senora by any chance. Senora? Child? <gasps> You're Fatui, one of the Harbingers! Oh, no, don't worry. I'm not looking for a fight. Senora gave you quite the bad impression, huh? That woman. Can't say I'm a fan either. Right. Let's forget all about her, shall we? I'm here to help you. Yes, help. I'm not a bad guy. Oh, okay, perhaps I'm kind of a bad guy, but I'm not here to give you any trouble. Would it be too much to ask for you to keep the sword sheathed? <sighs> I thank you for your knightly nobility. I heard of your deeds in Mondstadt, so I couldn't help but notice you during the proceedings back there. And because I had my eye on you the whole time, I know it wasn't you. Someone else was clearly behind it. But, regrettably, given I'm a Fatui envoy from Snezhnaya, there's no way I'd be trusted after something of this magnitude. The ruling Chi Sing of Liyue has always been overly suspicious of us. Well, can you honestly blame them? <laughs> Guess I shouldn't try to deny that. Okay, sure. Maintaining a distance between strangers is probably a good idea. Either way, I'm already used to it at this stage. But right now, if you want to clear yourselves of any suspicion, you need to get yourselves to Northland Bank. Staying here isn't an option. As the old Leo saying goes, the walls have ears. This bank was opened here in Liyue by Snezhnaya. Though everyone knows Liyue is the most enterprising in Tevat, Snezhnaya is not short of change either. Yeah, well, poorer nations don't seem the type to have diplomats that come around acting the way yours do towards the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> here, let me give you this. This is a... I'm not sure exactly. Sometimes all money can buy is things, and not a name for oneself. All I know is that it's a sigil. A sigil to keep the mighty and illuminated Adepti from bringing harm to you. Adepti? If you head north from the harbor, then west from Guayli Plains, you will eventually reach a stone forest known as Jueyun Karst. The people of Liyue believe it to be the abode of the Adepti. Legend or not, they believe it. As such, offerings to the Adepti are made at its borders. Nobody dares venture in. But I have no need for believing. Not when I know for a fact that the Adepti truly exist. Hate to admit it, but your Fatui intel seems alright. But why would we go looking for Adepti anyway? <laughs> oh, my little friend. There are plenty of reasons mortals seek the blessings of Adepti. Money, health, love. But you, you will go for justice. Justice? The Chi Sing will already have dispatched the Millilith. They'll be seeking out the assassin from amongst the onlookers. But how could a mere mortal kill a god that can sweep aside entire armies? Rex Lapis never gave up his power as a god. This level of crude response is beyond what is called for. How suspicious. Or to hide something else. Hard to say. Even now, the Northland Bank wouldn't be able to hold the Millilith off for long, but the Adepti can clear you of any wrongdoing. 
Liyue was founded by the Geo Archon and the Adepti. Of course, it was built by force. Look for them, and be faster than the Qi Sing's messengers, so you may give your version of events first. If there is anyone that can help you and Liyue now, it can only be the mighty and illuminated Adepti. And who might we be? Those that dare enter Dreyun Karst. A sigil of permission. Many a season has passed since one was last in the presence of such an item. He before you is the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Mooncarver. Speak, Traveler. What business have you here? Actually... It's the Assassin! They dared to flee here to Juryun Karst. Uh, sir, we've already stepped too far into Juryun Karst ourselves. We... Ah, there's no choice. Apprehending the Assassin is top priority. We must press on. Disturbing our borders. See them gone. One will not have interruption. Preposterous. Preposterous! The Liyue Qixing. Utterly disappointing. How could someone possibly assassinate Rex Lapis during the Rite of Dissension? And then place suspicion upon the attendees? Hmm. Traveler. Of the unjust accusations placed upon you, one has become aware. The mind knows its answer. Though one must consult with one's fellows, lest the mind be misguided. Go, take your sigil of permission. Carry with you a message. Mountain Shaper and Cloud Retainer can be found here. Only fate will decide if you shall find them. Only fate. There exists a conqueror of demons, a guardian Yaksha. Go to Wangshu Inn. There you shall seek him. <laughs>
have mercy, O mighty Adeptus. I beg you, show mercy upon me and my brother. Who are you? What's going on? We asked you first. Oh. You enjoy safe passage in Joyun Karst. It can only mean one thing. You must be Adepti messengers, sent here to rescue me and my brother. What is he talking about? Oh, have mercy, mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. I beg you to save us. My brother and I, we only came here because our family is poor, and we heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. That was stupid of us. But all we wanted to do was to find enough treasure to sell and support our family. We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly, the amber that swallowed up my brother Li Dang. I ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti, and this was our punishment. I had no idea how to rescue my brother, so I just started praying for the Adepti to have mercy, right here on the spot. And now, at long last, two messengers come to my aid. What? We're not Adepti messengers. We just want to find the Adepti like everyone else. No, 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 you, you must be messengers. You have to be! I have no idea which Amber trapped him. Please, you have to rescue him. I beg you, show me some Adepti mercy. Thanks be to the Adeptus of Mount Hulao and to their messengers. Never will we be so foolish again. Whoa, check you out! When you speak like that, you actually make a pretty convincing Adepti messenger. Paimon was going to ask him about where to find the Adeptus, but he seems pretty one-track mind about rescuing his brother right now. Hmm... So, he said that Li Deng got trapped in Amber somewhere on Mount Hulao, and that they were following the path the whole way up. So let's follow the path down from here. <laughs> Have you seen my brother? His name is Li Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. Phew. So he's safe then? Oh, 
Thank you. Here's hoping I don't run into any more Amber on the way. Thank you for rescuing my brother, oh mighty messengers of the Illuminated Adepti. What? No. I mean, like everyone else, we've heard that there's an Adeptus living in Mount Hulao. But regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Unlike you guys, you're Adepti messengers. So it's a whole different story. Anyway, we have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. Yes, thank... Boy, it'd be super helpful if we actually were Adepti messengers. Cause it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Oh. Who dares trespass on my mountain? Foolish mortal, come forth and receive your punishment. <laughs> you intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. The thief's ignorance was an affront to the Adepti. But your actions are an abomination of the highest order! Wait! We can explain! Mooncarver? Trusted a mere mortal as his messenger? Is this a sigil of permission? One is surprised to find such things still exist in the mortal realm. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then. And thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? At the right of dissension? What mortal in Liyue, nay in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, one shall convene with the other Adepti. Paimon can't! Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life, too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair, and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. There must- Your nonsense knows no bounds. This amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here, called the Karst Crawler. The majority of the plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces amber to trap the invader. After taking up residence here, one planted many karst crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. 
Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. Oh, so the Amber is alive? Correct. Thus, one may not leave this place in its current state, for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature. Before. Do you think they were making an offering? Looks like they didn't use all the ingredients. Let's see here. We got some snapdragon, some lotus heads, some tofu. Whatever they were cooking, it sounds complicated. Hey, look over there. They left some notes too. Yup, it's a doozy. Paimon's not surprised they had to write it all down. It's a lot to remember. We should read it carefully. Whoever cooked here last obviously likes to keep things neat and tidy. Paima bets they were making an offering to the Adepti. Looks like we got us some Matsutake and some raw meat. And what do you know? The recipe is right here. This chef was a super organized person. Flower. 
pot. But Paimon can't tell which kind. Do you think whoever cooked this made it as an offering to the Adepti? Hmm. Paimon can't quite imagine an offering made of flour and meat. Huh? Our messy chef dropped a piece of paper on the floor. Ew, and there's a huge footprint on it too. But footprint aside, maybe it has something to do with this mystery dish. One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. One knows not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. Hence, you shall be granted an opportunity. Find your way through mine abode, and you shall receive an audience with the Adeptus whom you seek.
one is most impressed. The path that leads through this abode defies those of ordinary abilities. The one before you is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Now speak of the matter which brings you here. You surmise correctly. This place did one self-build, as did one design the mechanisms within. In fact, even Gui Zhang and Rex Lapis themselves found one's technological accomplishments to be worthy of commendation. This place is huge, and there are so many mechanisms! Do you really have this whole place to yourself? What's it even for? Did you build it? It's just like the story say. The Adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent all these amazing things! One is simply not partial to the tedium of social interaction, and wish to find some peace and quiet. Find it one did. Shortly after which, you arrived bearing your sigil of permission. But enough. State the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? How can this be? Such a heinous crime! Who would dare? The notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable! One shall have to verify the truth of the matter independently. Perhaps one shall quash Liyue first, then convene with the other Adepti. Wait, what? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously gonna wipe out the whole city? Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. It is as you say. We have protected Liyue Harbor under the leadership of Rex Lapis for 37 centuries. But in the face of this coup, by nefarious actors, exceptional measures must be taken. Yikes! Quick! You gotta think of something! She wants to squash Liyue flat! And it doesn't seem like she's bluffing! Exactly what Paimon was gonna say! We made all that delicious food and gave every last bit of it to you! We were hoping you might help Liyue out, not wipe Liyue out! Or at least let's, you know, discuss it first! Can't hurt for you to get a second opinion! Contract? A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion after the merciless murder of the God of Contracts himself. The people of Liyue seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. They are quite adept at taking that which is composed of black and white and turning it gray. Nevertheless, since you come here in the name of contracts, far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligations. Least of all when you come bearing a sigil of permission, Rex Lapis infused these sigils with adeptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. Most of the sigil's power has long since worn off. It is but a keepsake now. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. This, no doubt, is Moon Carver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. Leave at once, and... Oh, this seems to be Wang Shu in! Compared to Joy and Karst, Seems basic. Are we really gonna find an Adeptus here? Let's take a look. Paimon reckons he'll be on the bed. Huh? Oh, he's not here?
to the blind. <sighs> Everything may not be as it appears. A sigil of permission? You came prepared. Though this only prevents me from hurting you myself, doesn't stop you from getting hurt in other ways. Too much contact with our world is breaking the rules. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of Adepti, nor can your blood carry this level of Adeptal energy. It's for your own good. Leave. Now. Wait a sec! We came here to... Ugh! Paimon's peeved! All he does is think about himself! Paimon wants to give him an ugly nickname! But if you tick off an Adeptus, the only thing you'll probably ever find in treasure chests is cabbages. Blech. <sighs> Guess we should go ask the boss lady of the inn about just how she manages to talk to Adepti. met Xiao. Not bad. Not often he's in a good enough mood to agree to see people. That's his good mood? Oh yes. The Adepti are very hard to come by. Many people go their whole lives praying to them, never once actually getting to see one. When the Geo Archon built Liyue, he borrowed power from the Adepti. But most of them only know how to protect Liyue by fighting. So for many millennia, it has instead been humans who have led Liyue. You really know a lot, huh, boss lady? <laughs> it's not boss lady, it's just boss. Anyway, seeing as you have the favor of the Adepti, things should be a lot easier. Well, if you want to know my opinion, if you keep Xiao in a good mood, things should be okay. Good mood? Can't really imagine what a good mood looks like for that vigilant Yaksha. <laughs> Will be interesting, won't it? Come to think of it, I've never seen him smile either. How about this? You go see the chef for a bowl of almond tofu and a plate of whatever it is you're best at making. Almond tofu is one of the few human foods Xiao likes. The other dish is up to you. Up to us, eh? Hmm, what do you think you're the best at cooking? Really hard to screw that one up, right? <laughs> 